Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate for January 28th, Saturday. And again, this is not something I normally do, the weekend videos. However, <laughs> I've been out the last several days, and I'm kind of juiced up to get back into it, so I figured I would do a preview. And again, when I do the NHL videos, I like to use the True DFS Sheets as part of the process, because again, I am trying to show you not just who I like tonight, but kind of a repeatable process that you can use to uh, to build lineups every day uh, using the tools at your disposal, being a true DFS premium member. Now, again, if you're not a premium member, this is video is only going to take you through today. Um, but the idea is to, that you should not have to come back to these on a regular basis, that you should learn how to build these things on your own, uh, you know, provided you have the, the true DFS tools at your disposal to do so. And if you want to sign up for TrueDFS to be a premium member, go to TrueDFS.com. I'm sure the links are in the description and all of that good stuff. Okay, so what we do is the usual process. First thing, I want to just take a quick look at the team totals to see what teams we think are going to feature, you know, well-projected players. Because, you know, listen, uh, your mileage may vary, but in general – Teams that score the most goals uh, generate the most fantasy points. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. Then we'll take a look at the sheets and see what players look good and see if we can't build, you know, uh, at least one, maybe two hand-built lineups without the use of an optimizer or any of that fun stuff. And then we'll get into the fun stuff and build some lineups using SaberSim, which is the optimizer I use to build most of my, you know, uh, mass multi-entry uh, tournament portfolios. All right, so let's take a look at, at a couple of sources to see what these team totals look like. So this is Saberson, and you see Ottawa, they have a 3-8, Seattle, 4, Pittsburgh, a 4-2, Tampa, almost a 4, Minnesota, almost a 4. Then you see Edmonton, which is a full half goal better than everybody. Um home against Chicago. So I, I'm pretty sure that this is where most of the action is going to be. And I'm pretty sure that it's also where the ownership is going to be. So we have to factor that in and we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's take a look at daily road. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So as usual, daily road is a little bit more even. So they only have Edmonton at a four Um, they have a minus 400 to win, but they have Edmonton at a four. Minnesota at a four, Tampa at a four, Ottawa, Pittsburgh. So Daily Roto's team totals are less, a little less uh, revering of Edmonton. Um, so that's something to consider, you know, wh wh where if you listen, we talk about this in basketball, we talk about blowout risk. Do uh, you think that applies in hockey? I don't know. You think that if a team's minus 400, they're going to really play all their top guys max minutes? even if they get like a three goal lead. Um, I, I don't know. I've never really looked into that, but it's, it's certain some, certainly something to consider, especially if Edmonton is going to be extremely popular. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll address that maybe some other time, but I'm going to be looking at Edmonton. We look at Minnesota, we'll be looking at Winnipeg, looking at Tampa, Pittsburgh, Ottawa. Those are probably the key teams. Well, let's just see if my sheets kind of support that assumption. So we're going to pull up the NHL, DraftKings projections. And we're going to rate them by, again, Sheets value score. Um, if this is your first time watching these videos, uh, this might seem a little intimidating, but um, we're just ranking the players by different ways. Like if you, if you sorted by column E, it would be on raw fantasy points. If you sorted based on point per dollar, it would be literally the ratio of fantasy points to project, you know, to your salary. But what we'd like to do is this sheets value score. It is my own, again, uh, I don't want to use our proprietary in the wrong way, but it's my own way of, of factoring in both points per dollar and just overall, you know, points. And this is the way I like to rank them. So again, if you're a true DFS member, you get access to the sheets value score. And, and this is the way I like to rank them. So what we're looking for when we're doing hand-built lineups in hockey is we're, we really almost want to just close our eyes, pull up these sheets, and then just open our eyes and see if we got a bunch of dudes, that's the, an analytical term, 
a bunch of dudes on the same team that are rated highly, okay? The reason for that, obviously, I would think, is because in hockey, you get so many kind of correlative points, you know, assists to the goal, goals to the assist, and things like that, that you really need to stack. So you're looking for, for guys on the same team that all that rate well. Now, again, if we really want to get greedy, which we do, we also would love to have them on the same line. So that's why we rate, you know, we have the even strength line and power play line. So if you find guys that are on the same team, that rate high, that are on the, the same line, those are good plays. I mean, that's an amazing situation. Now, again, if it's too amazing, then your ownership is going to make you might want to fade it. But that's 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 something different. But let's talk about it. So the first thing I'll look at is, you know, not surprisingly, two of the top Edmonton guys are in the top four, right? Okay? And, and then you go down to Hyman, who is right here, number 16. So you do have three Edmontons in the top 16. So Edmonton's probably going to be a pretty good play. But the, I don't think that's it. I mean, what, what else do I see here? You know, what I see, I see... First of all, I see Palmieri is a one-off. looks pretty good. We'll get to that in a minute. What about Ottawa? Well, you got Kachuk and Debrincat. Uh, just those two. The Seattle guys, you have McCann, Burakovsky, Eberle, Bjorkstan. So now you got four of these. Any chance they're on the same line? Now, Bjorkstan looks like he's a 3-2. But you have Eberly, Burakovsky, McCann, not bad. So first power play line for Seattle, that, that's not terrible. Winnipeg, just you got a couple. I mean, you have Ellers and Connor in this top list over here. I think that's pretty much it. So no real surprises. Edmonton kind of stands out. But Seattle's definitely has some dudes you can play. Ottawa has some dudes you can play. Winnipeg has some dudes you can play and Pittsburgh here um, as a couple of guys you can play also. So you want to build an Edmonton and then build one of the others. Sure. Why not? So let's do Edmonton. We'll just start with the easy ones. We'll go David, McDavid, Drysidel, and Hyman. And we'll just put those guys in, but you'll notice that Hyman is not on the first power play line. It seems you want to double check that, but you know what? Screw Edmonton. Let's let's build one with Winnipeg. That let's we're gonna have a little more fun. We're gonna build one with Winnipeg. Edmonton, you could build pretty easily, I would imagine. But let's let's take a look. Let's build with Winnipeg. Uh, so we're talking about O'Connor, Ellers, Dubois. So let's put those in first. Oh, there's Nugent Hopkins there, too. Ah. I'm not sure which way I want to do this. Let, let's, 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 let's try to do it this way. We'll go Dubois, Connors, Ellers. Who's the fourth guy? Was there a fourth that we could find? Let's see. Um, Hellebuck and Goal. That's not bad. Any other Winnipegs? No, that's pretty much it. I got all excited about this. Now we can play win these three Winnipegs with, with a couple of Seattles. We can play them with Edmontons. Really don't want to build an Edmonton. That's so that uh, seems so so boring. You know what? You know what's boring? Winning is boring too. So maybe we should just play them. Yeah, you know what? Let's 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 play the Seattles, I guess. So Burakovsky, McMahon, Eberly. Let's put those guys in. Are those all wings? Yes, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. So let's 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 play. Do Pittsburgh? Actually, let's start with the goalie. How about this? We'll start with the goalie, and we'll see how much money we have. Let's do what we always do at goalie and try to find the cheapest goalie that rates well. All these 8,100s, which I don't really like. Ugh. Well, since there's no real good cheap goalie, might as well go for the best one and go Vasilevsky. 
Let's put him in there. So now you have only 4,100 a man. You probably can't even play the Edmonton. So let's 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 see what we can do here. Let's fill this out with some Seattles. First, let's see which Seattle. See, there's only there's no very few centers that are eligible on Seattle, which probably what makes them difficult. But let's put in Burakovsky. We'll put in Eberly. And then the next thing I want to do to make this work is put in that cheapo from the Islanders that I looked at earlier. Yeah, so Palmieri at 3,400, but he's a wing too. Boy, these centers are kind of difficult to come by here, right? There's Dubois. Boy, this is very, very difficult. Is there's a real absence of centers here. I mean, what you could do, I mean, you could go for, for Nugent Hopkins. Boy, this is a tough slate, huh? The absence of centers is making the hand building lineup uh, lineups in this slate kind of kind of difficult. Should I give up and go to Sabersim? I just I don't feel like giving up quite yet. Play Stamkos. Well, what you could do is play Pittsburgh because you can go double center. All right, why don't why don't why don't we go back to that? Oh, it's so hard to build. Is that really true? Yeah, let's let's do the Pittsburgh because this way you could play Gensel, Crosby, Malkin, and Latang, and then we'll fill in. All right, let's do this. Can't believe this became so difficult. We're going to start all over. I'm going to do it with Pittsburgh because we can get these centers in. Pittsburgh. Boom. Crosby, Malkin, Gensel, Latang. Goalie, we said Vasilevsky. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Vasilevsky. And now we could play, we could either play the cheapo, but now what you know what you could do? Now you could play all these Seattle dudes, right? Because they were all wings, weren't they? Burakovsky, Eberly, McMahon, McCann. Can you get all these guys in? Let's see. Almost. I mean, one cheapo defensive punt, and you're in business. Wow. I say, wow, you like. Sounds it sounds so exciting to me, but I don't know when you fiddle around with this stuff enough, and then something fits where other stuff doesn't fit. It it is pretty satisfying. So that's probably what I would do in my hand build is do something like this: punt defenseman and off to the races, fading chalk Edmonton, and then hope we get lucky. All right, so let's see if Sabersim can come up with something better. By the way, just for fun, let's just see what what I can't really put it in, but just. Let me see if there's any good 2,600 cheapo defensemen. Oh, yeah, there are some you could put in. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know exactly which one I would do also. All right. I can't, I can't even show you, so I got to go over here and put it in. And there's just no way I don't play this because, because um, if this comes in and I, it does, and I don't have it, I'm going to not be very happy. Uh, okay, so let's um, let's go back and use Sabersim to build lineups. Upload, and again, you could do this right from the from True DFS if you're a Sabersim subscriber through GF through DFS. Um, there's like a there's right there on the site you can access Sabersim, and we'll have the True DFS projections already preloaded. But now let's do this. We'll use their standard 20 max sliders and we'll build, say, 50 lineups. And then we'll see. What types of exposure we get using the Sabersim builds. 
I bet you they give us all the Edmonton because, you know, they, listen, they have an algorithm. They're a lot better at finding ways to jam these guys in than I am. And yeah, there it is. So um, Hyman, McDavid, Stam, well, Stamkos, a little more Tampa than I was expecting. You look at team stacks here. Edmonton, yeah, but Tampa, Pitt, Ottawa. It's getting a little more 4-2 than I would like. I probably want a little more you know, five twos or stuff like that. So I'd have to kind of screw around with Saberson to get the types of stats that I want. Um, but overall, I guess we're sort of on the same page, but not really, right? I, I really like the Seattle and Winnipeg and it's probably their fifth and seventh most, you know, exposed uh, stacks. If you, you know, put the same projections into Saberson, which makes it somewhat interesting. All right. So that is exactly my process for building both the hand built and the MME portion of my uh, DFS portfolio. Hopefully, uh, again, you could come back to these things every once in a while, but not have to come back to these particular videos all too often, because if you're a true DFS subscriber, you can ac access these tools, build your own lineups and, and use SaberSim to build the MME lineups. Um, in any case, that will do it for this Saturday's uh, slate preview. Good luck.